electrophilic addition reaction. This reaction takes place in compounds containing multiple bonds. Multiple bonds like double bond or triple bond. In this case, the pi bond is broken and two new sigma bonds are formed. And the substrate molecule is electron rich. Electron rich substrate molecule. Okay, substrate is electron rich. And the reagent is electron deficient. Reagent electron deficient. Okay, and the multiple bond is broken and the multiple in the multiple bond, the pi bond is broken and two new sigma bonds are formed. It is a two step process. In the first step is the electrophilic attack. First step is electrophilic attack. Electrophilic attack. And the second step is nucleophilic attack. Okay. Nucleophilic attack. Let us see one by one. First step. Electrophilic attack. How it happens? Electrophilic attack. Okay. The compound contains the double bond or triple bond. So, st first step is electrophilic attack and the compound contains double bond like this compound contains double bond and this pi bond is broken okay and an electrophile will come and attack okay will come and attack so what will happen this is a slow process and the product will be Here, electrophile will come and attack. It gets a positive charge. Okay. Now, the second step is nucleophil, nucleophilic attack. Second step is nucleophilic attack. The nucleophile will come and attack the positive side of the substrate. Okay. Electrophile, sorry, nucleophile will come and attack on the negative positive side of the substrate so the compound will be like this okay so the pi bond is broken and two new sigma bonds are formed this is the steps involved in the electrophilic addition reaction now let us see one example ch2 double bond ch2 double bond ch2 this contains a pi bond so pi bond is broken okay the reagent is br2 br2 will come and attack okay ch2 okay here the uh, one br will come and attack now there will be what br minus okay this br minus will come and attack on the positive side the so, so the compound will be like this Okay. Dibromo ide. Okay. Dibromo ide. Or 1, 2 dibromo ide. This will be the compound. Okay. Now, this is in the case of the, uh, the symmetric alkene. The symmetric groups are on the uh, two sides of the double bond. If the unsymmetrical alkene, alkenes come, what will happen? In the case of unsymmetrical, CH3, CH double bond, CH2. CH3, CH double bond, CH2. In this case, if F HBr will come and attack or HCl will come and attack on the bond. So, what will happen? In this case, we can see that the H first here. So, H plus will come and attack here. Okay, CH3, CH plus, CH plus. CH3 okay so there will be Cl minus okay but Cl minus will come and attack here so the compound will be like this see CH3. in this case we can see that either the H can come here or if the bond moves here the H can come here and attack 
but there is a particular rule called Markovnikov's rule. According to Markovnikov's rule, Markovnikov's rule. So, what is Markovnikov's rule? According to Markovnikov's rule, Markovnikov's rule, the negative side of the reagent, the negative side of the reagent will come and attack on the carbon containing the lesser number of hydrogen atoms of the reagent will attack on the carbon atom containing lesser number of hydrogen atoms lesser hydrogen atoms okay see in this case in the case of unsymmetrical alkenes like the same compound ch3 CH double bond CH2. So, in this case we can see that two types of uh, compounds can be formed. Okay. In this case if the combo, if the electron will move here, the H plus will come and attack here. So, the first case will be CH3, CH plus, CH3. Okay. One carbocation will be like this. Also, this bond can shift over here. So, the compound, the carbocation obtained will be CH2, CH2 plus. So, two types of cations are formed. So, according to Markovnikov's rule, this will be stable because the Br minus will come and attack the carbon atom containing less number of hydrogen atoms. So, this will be the first one, second one. According to Markovnikov's rule, Markovnikov's rule, the first compound will be more stable. Okay. So, what will happen? The product obtained will be, see, the product obtained will be, product here, CH3. This will be the stable carbocation. Okay. So, Br minus will come and attack here. Okay. So, the compound will be CH3, CHBr, CH3. This is the Markovnikov's rule. So, in the case of unsymmetrical alkenes, it will follow the Markovnikov's rule. Now, in the case of unsymmetrical alkenes, unsymmetrical alkenes containing same number of hydrogen atoms in the carbon. Okay. Take this example CH3, CH2, CH double bond CH, okay, CH3. In this case both the carbon atoms contain same number of hydrogen atoms. So what will happen? A mixture of the compounds will be obtained. Either Br can attack here or Br can attack here. So the compounds will be CH3, CH2, CHBr, CH2, CH3 and CH3, CH2, CH2, CHBr, CH3. So a mixture of the compounds will be obtained if the carbon atoms contain same number of hydrogen atoms. Okay. This much about the electrophilic addition reaction.